All right. This is a sad day for Taiwan, I gotta tell you. Because my friend here, Bruno, actually claims he's Taiwanese, but he's actually not really. Hold your head up, Bruno. He claims he's <laughs> Taiwanese. He claims he's Taiwanese. He's not really. I mean, his parents are from Taiwan, but he was born in Brazil. And uh, how long have you lived in Taiwan for? Uh, 18 years, short. <laughs> and, and, and you've never been to Shilin Night Market? I've passed by many times, if that counts. So, <laughs> it's a sad day, but it's a day where I, a Canadian, am going to introduce Bruno, who is Taiwanese, to Shilin Night Market here in Taipei, Taiwan. Remember? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's Come my on, first I wanna, time you, here. You said you wanted to buy a T-shirt. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's. Uh, I want to show you some T-shirts here. Let's I go. think it would be suitable for you. Let's go. Don't okay. mind me. Okay. <laughs> uh, you're actually looking at female T-shirts, by the way. You really? like those? Don't, don't you think pink will look good on me? <laughs> There's some lots of tourist t-shirts here, Bruno. Oh, what do you think? Perfect. What do you um, think? Well, I'm into black, so uh, probably like that. Uh, black Are you and sure white you want to stick? One. Well, I thought you wanted to kind of mix your style up a bit. You were oh, saying you wanted. To... Yeah, I mean, I know black is your color because that's your Why brand. Why don't you pick one for me? Oh, now that <laughs> would be fun. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna do that. All right, let me have a look here. Okay, this is the smallest one. Yeah. Uh, let's have a look at it. That's not really what I... What, oh, 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 what do you got there? Oh. I don't know. What is this? Look at that. Awesome. Oh, this is TW. Oh, TW. Oh, that? Uh, no, it, that's it counts, cool. Right? I mean, we're... It's still gray black, <laughs> but, you know, it's well, not all black. I, I'm allergic to colors. So. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> and this is Bruno. This is, how to this is totally Bruno. Okay. He doesn't know it yet. I, I, I really think this... This would kind of get you out of your comfort zone. Yeah. I think... Yeah. <laughs> so what do you think? Yeah, yeah, you're rocking that pink shirt, man. <laughs> really? It's good. It's this is good. my first pink t-shirt in my whole life. How do you feel? I feel weird. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Do you feel like a tourist? I, no, I should put my the, the I Love Taiwan one, with, which feels more like a tourist, but I feel cute. Oh, okay. All right. Great. Well, let's go. Let's go. Let's go uh, test it out in the market. Okay. I don't know. What do you think of the night market so far? Well, uh, it's it's more than I expected. Yeah. I thought it was just like some snacks and food and stuff like that. And one thing, you know, you know how I feel right now. I feel like a kid in the night market, and my dad doesn't want me to get lost, so I'm <laughs> wired. I have you on a leash, to, yes. I have to follow John yeah. all the way with this uh, I'm not old enough to be your dad, though. So don't. <laughs> it's, it's nice. It's not only food. Yeah. A lot of things. To add. We just bought some t-shirts, and there's like shoes and uh, toys. A lot of options. Well, what I, what I always tell people that come here for the first time as well, or come to Taiwan for the first yeah. time, is that the night markets are really nice places to be, as long as you don't mind the crowds. Uh -huh. um, the, uh, they're really safe, they're fun, you don't, people are just in a good mood, but they don't get crazy, they don't get out of control. Yeah. So it's a place that you can bring your family, I mean a lot of families come here, seniors yeah. come here. Yeah, I see a lot of uh, parents bringing their babies. Yeah, yeah, so it's a really mm -hmm. safe, kind of family-friendly environment as well. Yeah, and I feel safer, yeah. I'm sorry to say that, I feel safer than Hong Kong. Yeah, <laughs> really, why? Yeah, you know, I don't know, because when you're walking in Hong Kong, like, streets in Hong Kong, you're afraid that your stuff is still stolen. Oh. But here you feel relaxing, safer, watching your back. Yeah, you still have to kind of watch. They have... Wait, 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 wait. That's much better. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, uh, oh. I'm just kidding, it's okay. Um, uh, you have to uh, do watch out on your personal belongings because there are pickpockets that they are reported here and they do warn you in the night market. Yeah. But um, but yeah, yeah, I think it's a really safe place to be and fun place to be too. Yeah, let's eat. Are you sure about this? <laughs> okay, it's not the first time you've had stinky tofu, right? No, no, no. But actually, I only tried fried ones before. Oh. Real okay. ones like this, I never tried. Really? Yeah.
Okay, you gotta try this. Okay. Okay. Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> So this is the first time you've had stinky tofu like this? Yeah, first time I had fancy stinky tofu like this. Why do you say fancy? Because it has toppings on it. Okay. The fried ones are just like plain ones with some uh, sweet uh, sour sauce. Yeah. And uh, you know why I ordered this is uh, pepper, uh, peanut uh, powder yeah. and basil. You know why I ordered it like this? No. Because it can cover the smell. Oh, it's That's smart, tricky. clever, clever. You have learned something here in 18 years. Yeah, yeah. And, and here, there is kimchi inside. Ooh. Yeah. So, well, give it a try. Yeah, Let us know what you it. think. Oh. Oh. Uh -oh. You lost all your My toppings. Bad. Okay. I like it more though. How, how stinky is it? It's not really stinky at all. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, maybe because of the sauce. Oh, okay. They have the barbecue sauce on it. They have the basil flavor on it. So I don't, well, well it, it, it is stinkier when you're walking towards it. Yeah. You can smell it, but once you taste it, it's not stinky at all. I like it. Okay. I'm not a super big fan of stinky tofu, to be honest with you. I've tried it different places. Uh, I did try it here at another uh, food stall one time, and just I didn't like it. It was kind of like gym shorts or something. It tasted really not very good. <laughs> so let's try this. I, I, I think I think this might be better. Mm, that's really good. I like the peanut powder on it. That was a good, um, good call. And you said, and there's some of the basil. It is a little bit stinky, but um, I understand it's, it's not overwhelming. It's just kind of like a, you know, like a little bit of a stinky cheese. Maybe a little stinkier. Kind of a stinky aftertaste. But um, you know what? It's pretty good. Okay, so we're going to try these uh, mushrooms here that are really famous in Shilla Night Market. There's actually maybe about five or six uh, mushroom stands right here. So. Yeah. Have you tried this before? Uh, not, not like this. Okay. Yeah. Because uh, uh, I like vegetarian food. Yeah. Even though I, I need to have some meat once in a while with my clients, but most of the time I'm vegetarian. So uh, I've been asking John, like, can, can we have anything vegetarian? Because I've seen meat everywhere. Yeah. But you can, you can actually find some vegetarian food in these night markets, yeah, believe like it or not. So was, uh, this vegetarian. It's totally vegetarian, this is vegetarian, so it's not super hard to find some vegetarian friendly food here. And this guy is an artist, look at this guy. Yeah, fancy. Oh, that looks so good. It smells really good though. And this is the, we got the pepper, right? Yeah. Uh, I ordered pepper, but he gave me lemon pepper, which I think it's even better. Oh, okay. Same right. price anyway. <laughs> so, Let's give it a try. Yeah. Smells so good, especially with the lemon. So these are like they call them king oyster mushrooms. Yeah. Uh, in yeah. Chinese is called xing bao bu. Okay. It's uh, it's huge. Look at that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's really nice. And, and they're uh, all in all the night markets, but there's a lot of them. Uh, these stands right around here in the yeah. Shilin night market. This is something that you you will usually find when there is a vegetarian restaurant. Oh, okay. So this is more like a replacement for meat. Yeah. Whoa. Good. It's juicy. Yeah. The flavor is really nice. A little spicy for the pepper, mm. but the lemon. Nice. Oh, I'm dying to try this. I can't remember the last time I had uh, these, and I love mushrooms. I love mushrooms. Okay. Mm. Oh, those are so good. 
Mm, you're right, they're juicy. I love the pepper and the and the lemon. So good. So, I mean, this is your first time to shill a night market, but you actually know a lot about Taiwanese culture and night markets and stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> and this is, uh, we're outside the uh, Ji Chan Gong, which yeah. is a uh, temple, yeah. the center of uh, a lot of night markets in, in Taiwan, actually. A lot of night markets actually started uh, after the temple. So the temple, uh, brought a lot of people to the neighborhood, a lot of uh, worshippers, followers come every day, and then a lot of food stalls started setting up when they started seeing lots of people coming to uh, the temple. And yeah. that's really how a lot of night markets started in Taiwan. Yeah. And this one, I think, maybe is not much different. Okay. And what, but you, what you were going to show me is there's some signs that they have here right now that are set up, which I can't read Chinese. So you can share with me what this is all about. What do these signs say? Oh, this is because uh, every uh, temple in Taiwan they have their own like anniversary and birthday. Yeah. So this actually says the uh, the birthday is coming. So yeah. People can come and they can celebrate and worship to the god. And uh, thank. It's more like when you come for a wish. Yeah. Uh, of course, you have to come back and in return, you know, celebrate or give back to the temple. You know, just to thank uh, the luck that they give you. And those lanterns hanging around the, those temples yeah. uh, are uh, wishes making by uh, people. It's like light, lightning your future. So, so these are all can, family names up on these lanterns. Yeah, your name, you can put your name, your wish. And when it's lighting up, that means your future is bright. Oh, okay. Yeah, they call it Guangming Deng. And actually, a lot of temples in Taiwan have these ways of raising money, yeah. right? Usually, you do it in the beginning of the year, yeah. so that you can have uh, luck in the coming year. And uh, they also have the little lanterns inside as well. Mm -hmm. Maybe we can just take a quick look. Okay, so you're saying the larger the lantern is, the more luck you can expect yes. to get. And of course, you have to donate more, right, exactly. for the larger lantern. Exactly. And then they have all these little lanterns here, right? And these yeah. all have family names on them as yeah. well. Mm -hmm. So people can do the same thing with these. Yeah, like parents will, uh, will uh, have this kind of Guangmingdan for their kids. I wish them have a better you know, score in school. Or if you're looking for a job, you can also make a wish. And after you make a wish, of course, uh, you have to come back and, and thank and donate money to the temple. Really nice, cool. I cannot remember the last time I had one of these. It's been a long time. But I do like them. They also do strawberries. They have strawberries as well. Yeah. Strawberries, uh, plum and tomato. This is uh, just pure uh, plum. And this is uh, old corn. It's a um, kind of fruit as well. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a little crab apple or something. Okay, let me give it a try. It's really good. They're really unusual. I think Western people would kind of like, okay, interesting, like sugar, tomato, uh -huh. but yeah, it's good. It's really good. And the tomatoes in Taiwan are delicious. And they have these year round, these little cherry type tomatoes. It's good. All right, so I think we're done for tonight. Uh, what did you think of your first visit here to Shilin Night Market? Not enough time. It's too big and we don't have enough time. Uh, I've been to another night market in Songshan District, yeah. which is the Raoho, I think. Yeah. And I, I finished that night market in like 1.5 hour. But we spent around two hours here and we only explore a small little corner. Yeah. So this is the, the biggest one in Taipei City, right? Yes. I have to come back here. Okay, you're on, man. We'll come back again, spend some more time. Yeah. I just want to say, you know, you're a really good sport for putting up with me and my yeah. uh, teasing. Yeah. And, and, I need high and heels especially, for next time. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get you some high heels, no problem. Uh, and, and for wearing this shirt. I like, rock. You are a total Taiwanese in my heart, my friend. Thank you so much. Okay. So thank you guys for watching the video. If you enjoyed that, please give me a thumbs up. There's more videos to see on Taiwan, East Asia, Southeast Asia, and South Asia. So do subscribe to the channel now. 
For Bruno Black, this is John Sabo from Sheila Night Market in Taipei, Taiwan. Xie xie, xie xie, bye bye. Xie xie.